closer together? Come on, act like you like each other. There you, oh yes, that's very cute with the feet hanging over his teeth. Ready? If, if I can help make that connection to show somebody from home, because there may be some barrier, emotional barriers why people won't come to a shelter. Sometimes people ask, hey, why do you volunteer at the shelter? Isn't it a kill shelter? Don't, you know, isn't it sad? How do you not take them all home? And I was like, how can you not be here? It's to make, you can ch change the world of that one animal in one click. It's a, that's what makes it addicting. When you see somebody come into a shelter with a photo in their hand or you know, they've got it on their iPhone, they say, I want to see this animal. It, as an artist, it doesn't get any better than saving lives. So the more that I can make the photos stand apart from others on sites like Pet Finder, uh, it, it, anything that can, you know, the photo is like an inch by, it's like a thumbnail. So when somebody's scanning to find their new pet, if it just gets its click, it's a view, Anything helps them stand out, it will help increase that shot of them getting a home. I happened to photograph a pit bull that had been in the care of this kennel for, I'm sorry, the care of the shelter for uh, about a year. And um, when I took its picture, basically they told me that it hadn't had any views. And then about two weeks later they said, after they had the photo that I'd shot, it had gotten a home right away and had so many um, applications for it. And I was like, well, gosh, that was a really simple and creative solution to get exposure for this awesome animal that wasn't getting any views otherwise. So I started volunteering at different shelters and it just became addictive. You could see that the animals were moving faster and it was an awful lot of fun.